Do you remember back in June this year at the Octopus Energy Tech Summit in London that Octopus announced they were going to be releasing their very own brand of EV charger? It's called the Octopus Charge and I've got an engineer from Octopus on his way right now and he's going to be installing an Octopus Charge on the front of my house. I'm looking out my front window right now, I'm just waiting for him to arrive. So this is the charger that we're going to be replacing. It's an old pod point one, about five years old and you can see that the plastic, it's supposed supposed to be grey but it's sort of yellowed with the weather over the last few years. So you might be thinking, but Ollie, you've got a perfectly working pod point EV charger already. Why are you replacing it with the Octopus charge? Well, it's mainly because of the tariffs that it supports. The pod point itself isn't very smart. It doesn't support the intelligent Octopus Go tariff. Uh, we basically just use it as a switch, but the Tesla we've got paired with Octopus and it is paired with the Intelligent Octopus Go tariff so we can plug that car in, it will register with Octopus and it will give us our off-peak hours um, whenever we need them. But we've got two EVs, in fact the second EV is usually right here on the drive but my wife's taken it to work. That's the MG4 and we use that more than the Tesla so we need to charge it more often and because our charger isn't very smart and because the MG4 doesn't support Intelligent Octopus Go we can't really take advantage of that tariff properly. So by getting the Octopus Charge it will be the charger that integrates with Intelligent Octopus Go rather than the car. So we disconnect the car from Intelligent Octopus Go and we pair the new Octopus Charge with Intelligent Octopus Go and then it doesn't matter which car you plug in, whether the car supports the tariff or not, it's the charger that's doing the hard work. So that's the idea behind it is we get a charger that supports Intelligent Octopus Go and then both of our EVs can take advantage of that special tariff. And the engineer from Octopus has arrived. He's going to be installing my charger very shortly. So here's the charger itself. It's a very compact unit actually. Just show my hand for scale there. I don't want to drop it. And it's got the cables pre-installed as well. So one of them is, oh, put that down gently. One of them is for the actual charger or the charge plug. There we go, just there and the other end is pre-crimped with ferrules so it should make for easier installation although this cable here does seem quite short but we'll see what the installer does okay so the engineer now needs to turn off the power but let me turn the camera around you remember i've got all of this kit in here so we need to isolate this safely so my plan is i'm going to turn off the solar inverter so we're not generating from solar anymore. Uh, we've got the Give Energy uh, AC3 here. So let's turn that off and press the power button on the side of the battery to make that safe. There we go. Battery is off. And we should be running on just the all-in-one right now. But to make it safe out in the meter box, I'm going to flip this here, so hopefully the whole house is now running on battery. Oh, the camera's gone very flickery, so that means we must be running on battery in the house. Right, let's see if uh, the installer says it's safe to work on now. That's the fuse removed. Now, hopefully there should be no load whatsoever on either side because I've isolated the battery, but you never know, you've got to be safe. I'm guessing that's what all the extra safety gear is for. And I should add, this umbrella isn't because it's nice and sunny in South Wales, it's because it keeps trying to rain here. So I've left the engineer to the install outside, mainly because it started pouring down and there's no point both of us getting wet. Uh, but I'm guessing you're probably thinking, oh, he's gone and got another Octopus Energy product. He's had his heat pump installed from Octopus and now he's getting his EV charger installed from Octopus. And I don't know, it's like, it's like Octopus is some sort of cult. I guess it probably is a bit like a cult. I mean, you've got an iconic leader. No, not that one, the other one. And they have a lot of very passionate followers. I mean, customers. And they're always trying to get you to recruit more followers, customers. Um, and on that note, if you are interested in joining Octopus Energy because of all the fantastic smart tariffs that they offer, 
They are quite good value as well. Um, so you keep your eye on the prices. Go check them out on their website if you don't believe me. Um, but if you do want to join Octopus Energy, then please use my link, which is on the screen right now. It's speaktothegeek.co.uk forward slash energy. And you'll get £50 of account credit once you've signed up. So we've made a bit of a design decision and that is to put the new consumer unit in the garage. Now if I show you here, you can hear a bit of drilling going on but that's because it's being installed. There's the new consumer unit and the reason it's in the garage there is because it's quite large. And if I come round here, you can see if we had to stick that outside the front of the house, it wouldn't look great. So what we've got is the charger there and it's going into this uh, little junction box here and that is going into the garage there it'll go to that consumer unit it'll come out of that consumer unit down the wall on the other side of this wall and into the meter box there where it will connect to these little blocks here so that's the plan anyway uh, i'll let you know how it goes in a minute The installer's put the charger in hotspot mode, ready for commissioning. So he's just connected his phone to the hotspot and we're gonna set it up now. So uh, let's have a look at what it says on the screen. See, to isolate all sources except grid. Yep, we've done that. CT plus two amps, that's good. Yep, we should be able to set that to 80 amps in there. So that's the one. Okay. So I need to add the device then to the Octopus app. So I go add device. Pick the device you'd like to add. Heat pump. I don't want to add a heat pump. Add a device. I tell you what, I'm going to remove my Tesla from the account. Ah, oh, there we go. Devices. Connect an Octopus charge. There we go. Octopus charge. It's found it now. Let's get started. Enable Bluetooth permission. Yeah, I got the uh, searching for it. So, so for anyone wondering, if you've got your car or another charger already connected devices. to the app, yeah, in the devices, you've got to remove it first and then it will just appear. Octopus charge, let's get, oh, hang on. <sighs> Press the black button under the Octopus charge for five seconds to turn Bluetooth on. Always read the instructions properly, people. <laughs> Right, flashing blue light, let's get started. Searching for your octopus charge, straight right. away, yes. Absolutely, now the question is, do I edit this video to make me look clever or keep in the bit of me looking stupid? <laughs> octopus charge found, connect it to my Wi-Fi. Oh, retrieving device credentials. Tell us about your EV. I have got a Tesla. I have got a, none of those. I've got a 2021, but I've got a 2021, but I'll choose that one. Setting it up, you're all set up. Right, okay, so I've got to start a test charge. So, right, tap that, plug it in. Okay, so it's plugged in and I now need to, so it says smart control ready. I want it ready by eight o'clock in the morning, apparently. And we go, smart control ready. And it should prepare my juice. Charge, oh yeah, but we have to do a test charge of not a bump charge. Um, so it'll actually, in about a minute or so, it'll tell us which time slots it's done. So once it does that, um, it'll start charging if it needs to. Oh, schedule created. Okay, okay, so 4.30 till five is when it's gonna start doing. So that's good, it's created a schedule. We have a schedule, that is good, but we do need to test that the EV charger is working. So I'm gonna click on bump charge right now, and hopefully, 
car should start charging. Let me go check on the screen of the car. What's it say? Two amps, three amps, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's going. Right, it seems to be charging okay, but I'm gonna turn the solar panels back on because they've been off all day. So here it is then, the final finished installation of the Octopus Charge. And I think it looks pretty neat, to be honest. There is one feature I'd quite like to show you, and that's the holster. Um, let me turn the camera around. This is quite a clever little design, actually. If you look, it's locked in place right now, but to release it, you have to actually lift it up and pull it forward. And there's a little locking pin that goes in there and just by lifting it up it releases that locking pin so when it's actually in there and hanging down it's pretty secure i think that's quite a neat feature and let's show you in the garage i've got to stand up with my old man knees let's go into the garage and show you that new consumer unit now i'm very glad i've had that done inside you can see here we've got some nice trunking going up the wall and if i open this up how do you open it up oh, i have to pull this lever here if i open it up there we go you can see you've got the uh, surge protection device and an rcd in there so nothing spectacular in there but uh, yeah it's uh, much better inside where it's weather protected and not on display i think so uh, here we go let's have another look at the final installation so I'm just looking at the Octopus Energy Integration in Home Assistant and it looks like we get a charger uh, device here and if I click on that you get the intelligent dispatching entity just here. Now that's quite useful for automating things um, but unfortunately it does mean that we don't yet have all of the energy sensors and all of the um, power sensors or anything else that the Octopus API might give us. I'm sure that will come, but this device is brand new. So at the moment, yeah, we're not gonna get anything, but hopefully very soon, the uh, Octopus Energy Integration will be updated with all of the sensors that I need. I might actually message Bottle Cap Dave who makes the integration and ask him what his progress is. If I get any information back from him, I'll um, let you know down in the description. So make sure you keep the installation manual because in there, are some LED indicators so as you can see what the different colors of lights mean because there's lots of colors that this LED on the front could be so at the moment it's purple and I didn't know what that meant so I had a look in the user guide and it says solid purple is charger online in standby so that's what it should look like most of the time I think so one unique feature of this particular charger is that it's got 4G connectivity. So if this gets installed at someone's property and they don't have Wi-Fi, or Wi-Fi isn't in range of the charger, then this can just use 4G, like mobile phone connectivity. Um, but if you haven't got a mobile phone signal where the charger's going, then it also has the option of using Wi-Fi. So it's a dual sort of communication device really so it's got 4g and it can fall back to wi-fi so that's pretty useful because it means if your household wi-fi does go down for any reason then you can fall back to 4g and octopus can still control it so that is a pretty good reason for getting one of these to start with anyway if you're interested in getting one of these chargers or one of the other chargers that octopus energy installs then visit speaktothegeek.co.uk forward slash ev charger and if you use my link then you'll get 25 pounds i think it's 25 pound visa card sent to you as a sort of thank you and i also get a 25 pound kickback as well so that's why i'm promoting it but if you're interested in getting one don't forget speak to the geek.co.uk forward slash ev charger uh, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel too for free to see more from me a massive thank you to these guys here i think i'm going to put them they're my channel members and patrons and uh, if you'd like to become a channel member or patron then check out the links in the description in return you'll get early access to my videos and some bonus behind the scenes content too thank you for watching goodbye